it is not new, of course, uh, corporations have been influencing uh, public uh, decision making around food, but we observed that in the last years it has, um, it has increased and deepened. We need to stop thinking that corporations are essential for food provision. Without them, we cannot feed the people, and that's not true. The United Nations have moved to this setting of inviting multi-stakeholders. But our problem with that is precisely about what are the rules um, of having that conversation. If you invite everyone, and if you invite the most powerful ones, they completely bias the discussion in a certain direction. Official decision-making, intergovernmental negotiations are not any more the important place where decisions are being made, but this has shifted to these informal settings of summits when it is, let's say, informal decision making, but it is extremely, extremely uh, influential. The long-term solution is to change this unjust and unfair architecture of um, economic governance at the global level, strengthen uh, democratization um, of decision making, and free food systems from corporate capture.